Joseph Williams shares with us the three songs that he's most proud of as a musician that he sang on. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. If you had to pick your top three songs that you've sung on, that's from another fan. Top three songs that I've sung on. Well, it would, it would, it would depend on, on uh, what, for what reason I'm choosing them. And in, in other words, uh, number one would probably be the Lion King if we were talking about sort of successful, that, that, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. If, we were, if, if we were talking about a song that, um, that I'm um, proud of in terms of, you know, vocals, it would be pretty much anything, any three songs from the seventh one to be honest with you. Yay. Thank yeah. you. You make me feel happy. I'm happy. Uh, do you still, uh, do you keep in contact with Steve Picaro? Um, me, I haven't um, had much contact with Steve Picaro since we stopped in 2019, but I know he's, um, I hear he's doing great. I think he's working with my brother on something. What do so. you do as a vocalist when you're on, when you're, do you do interviews while you're touring? Do you protect your voice as a vocalist? What, what's your day look like when, when you're touring? I try to just, I try to get as much sleep as I can between, you know, like each day between shows or whatever, sometimes more than one actually needs, but just to keep quiet. And if, if, if you can really get to sleep, it's the best thing for your, for your voice. And, um, you know, just trying to eat well and, and mentally just stay kind of loose one of the mistakes i used to make in the old days was if every tickle i would feel in my throat i would get you know paranoid about uh uh what was what my voice was going to sound like and you know that those kinds of things never you know completely go away but i'm 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 a little i'm a lot more mentally relaxed which helps you know um all, all you're all you're doing is you're you know you, over a period of time when you're when you're working on the road is you're making you're making this area just a little swollen so you want to get a lot of water. You don't want to have a lot of inflammation. You want to get as much sleep as you can. So I, I try my best to do all of those things. I'll put it to you that way. I, I, Fee Waybill told me something I'd never heard before. Acupuncture in here. I'm going, what? Yeah, whatever gets you through the night, I guess. But he, yeah. he swears by it. I'm going, oh, wow. I, I had no idea. And one night he was in Europe someplace. I think he might have been in Germany. I'm not sure where he was. And he says he couldn't find someone. Finally, at the last minute, he did because he lost his voice. Wow. Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. That's- I've never heard of that, but there's, you know, who, who knows, you know, maybe, maybe it releases some, but you know, the, the, the inflammation and swelling of the, of the vocal cords and stuff, it's, that's a, you know, a, an actual physical thing that happens. And all you can really do is not use your voice and stay very, very hydrated. It's all, that's really bottom line. We'll have another clip with Joe Williams in three, four days. Make sure you comment on our videos. We say this, but spread the word. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Share our videos on the Toto groups or on the classic rock groups or any groups you're in, on your Facebook page, on your Twitter. Help us spread the word. Comment on our videos, subscribe to that channel, and buy a t-shirt. Links in the description. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. 